Welcome everyone to my next YouTube video. Today is episode 21, I think, of my meat prep series. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm in the middle of my meat prep. I compete in the 181 pound weight class and I'm very, very excited for my next meet. If you wanna follow up with my progress leading up to this meet, be sure to be subscribed to the channel, have the post notifications on because I am very, very excited for this meet. I have a lot of goals in mind and honestly, training is going very well. So pay attention to that going forward. Anyways. With that out of the way, let's get started with this first YouTube video. Today's video is a bit different compared to what I've been doing. And if you're new to this channel, I hope by the end of this video, I can give you some insight on what the biggest, most common deadlift mistake there is and how to fix it. So today's YouTube video is gonna be about the most common mistake people make on deadlifts. And this is coming from my perspective, my point of view. I've been coaching for three to four years. And honestly, it's something that I've seen a lot from beginners, a lot of people that uh, don't really know what they're doing when they start lifting and even in advanced and elite people that have been clean for a long time, even my, myself included, like I've made this mistake countless amount of times and I know exactly what to do to fix it. So first off, before we get into the mistake, we have to talk about what deadlifting is. Um, personally, I think deadlifts is one of the best compound movements you can ever perform inside of the gym. Um, a lot of people don't want to deadlift because they're scared of getting injured, scared of getting hurt. If you do everything correctly, if you keep your technique consistent, the big key word of the day here, guys, consistency. We need to talk about things that you need to be consistent with, like positioning. That's the, arguably the most important part of the deadlifts. If your starting position is inconsistent with the hip height, with your, your trunk angle, the amount of stability you have in your upper back, your thoracic, whatever you're doing from rep to rep, from set to set, then you need to be consistent with everything. So whenever you're taking advice, you need to take into account that not everyone is built the same. For example, someone's arms might be, might be longer than someone else's arms. Someone's torso might be longer than someone else's torso and vice versa. So even though people can pull sumo or conventional, this can apply to both of the types of deadlifts, which is very important to note. Um, and I'm gonna get into this topic right now because I don't wanna beat around the bush. Basically, the further away an object is, the harder, the more you have to work to, to move the object. So with that being said, whenever you're deadlifting, you need to make sure that the bar is as close to you as possible. So if you see the bar rolling away from you, for example, then that might lead to uh, the lift being 10 times harder than you expected. So whenever I deadlift, I wedge very, very aggressively. And with any type of like aggressive hip pump, there's that momentum that your hips cause pumping into the bar and it might kick the bar away. So whenever you're doing something like a, a competition style deadlift, a sumo a conventional deadlift and you're hip pumping like that, you need to be cautious, be wary of that momentum that your hips provide. And if you're gonna be doing that, for example, I give myself say two to three inches of space uh, from my shins to the barbell. This is probably the most important piece of advice I can give you when it comes to something like this, because like I said before, if, if the bar rolls away, if you see those plates roll away from you, like you know it's gonna be hard. And I've been lifting for almost eight years and I still have this issue and I know exactly how to fix it. There are people that have not so an aggressive hip pump, like more of a static position when they pull the, the, the weight off the floor. And that's why they can get away with the bar being a lot closer to them from the start of the movement. So this is a mistake that I see a lot of people make. And the sooner that people realize this, the, the sooner they'll stop making that same mistake. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can, can see what I'm talking about. I can put some videos of different types of people that I've, I've coached, different types of people that I've interacted with in my Discord that do this correctly. And I think I can find a video of myself doing it incorrectly. Like I'm pretty sure there are a lot of clips of me where you could literally see the bar roll away from me and like me struggle my back rounds and like just muscle it up. But yep, um, that's, that's my biggest piece of advice for something like this with deadlifts. I think that's good enough for this video. It was a very short, very easy, very straight to the point type of video. I really enjoy making this type of sit down content. So if you guys are still watching this video to let me know that you're still watching it, let me know down in the comments below what type of sit down content you want me to do next time. Um, I'm open to anything. Like I legitimately just love, I'm enjoying making content for you guys because you guys are so interactive with me in the comments section, in the discord, on my Instagrams, like you guys are very supportive of me. So very appreciative. I just want to do everything I can to help the community back out. So if it's giving, giving you guys some pieces of advice stuck in the back of my tiny brain, then so be it. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be a good end to the video here. Like I said before, guys, join the discord, uh, join the rest of the community. If you're not already in there, leave a like for me, leave a comment for me. If you really, really love me, you'll say subscribe, put the post notifications on 
and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next YouTube video. By the way, we're seven weeks out. Stay tuned because I'm going to be cooking something sweet, cooking something spicy up for this entire meat prep. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.